Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Guys, it's your girl T. So I know a lot of y'all have been contacting me. Y'all have been wanting me to talk about this whole Boonk gang situation. For y'all who don't know who Boonk is, he's this ratchet dude from ratchet ass Florida, okay? And basically he goes around doing all of these just immature pranks. He's been arrested countless times, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, stealing donuts and, you know, jumping on counters. He just does a bunch of stupid shit. For real, the, the thing is that it's, it's the reactions I get. A story you'll see only on six A prank landing a South Florida stuntman in trouble with the law. And today, that man explaining why he's taken up swiping stuff from local eateries. Thank you for joining us again. I'm Dewan Stray. And I'm Jackie Nesprall. That man who appeared before a judge for stealing from a Dunkin' Donuts spoke only with NBC6 today about his risky hobby. Let's get right out to Michael Spears in Miami Gardens with that social media stuntman's story. Michael? Well, Jackie, Juwan, that now viral video of him taking the tray of donuts this is where it happened. It happened behind us here at this Dunkin' Donuts in Miami Garden off of Northwest 2nd Avenue. It happened back in May, but this video now making rounds and we reported on this yesterday regarding his first uh, court appearance. Now, this is a stunt that landed him in jail, but in an exclusive interview with NBC6 earlier today, just a few hours ago, John Hill Jr. said that, uh, he's, not, uh, that he's not done making videos and he's going to continue moving on. They didn't even know I was coming. John Hill Jr. turned an online following into viral fame, recording stunts that have racked up millions of views on Instagram alone. Like this one of Hill hopping the counter and taking a tray of donuts from Miami Gardens Dunkin' Donuts as workers watched. A stunt that sent him to jail. I call it bunking because, you know, I'm running off. 20-year-old spoke exclusively with NBC6 after his arrest. When I got arrested, it was people, it was officers, they knew who I was. Hill said police picked him up after the video on a warrant for burglary and theft charges. He told us some people have questioned whether his videos are real. All my videos are real. The, the thing is that it's, it's the reactions I get. Other videos posted online show Hill running off with a dog, watch someone's iPhone and slip and slide stunts inside stores. Videos that he began to generate buzz for a rap career. It's a uh, publicity stunt. So now that, I, now, now that I got up there, now I'm trying to get my music back in. But it's not all likes from everyone. In bond court, his attorney said taking a tray of donuts that he eventually gave back wasn't smart. To each his own. All the hate that I receive is on the internet. Hill said he's learning how to avoid trouble while still making viral videos and he doesn't plan to stop. That wave is big right now, so I'm riding the bunking wave right now. So but that's not forever. It's, it's not forever. But all this stupid shit that he's done has allowed him to gain a bunch of followers. He's become verified on Instagram. So again, proving that no matter how outrageous you act, you can be rewarded via social media, okay? But this time, Boonk may have taken it too far. If you guys don't know, the other day, he posted to his 5 million followers, which I believe a majority of those are kids because most people who watch him are in junior high, high school, things like that. Even some elementary kids who watch him as well. He decided to basically become a porn star, okay? And he took to his Instagram stories and he posted raw video of him getting head, eating coochie, eating ass. I was like, I could not believe what the hell I was watching. He was having legit sex on Instagram Live, okay? And the crazy part is his followers started flagging the video and it took Instagram over five hours to delete his account, to remove the videos. And of course the videos by then have been downloaded and they've been spread all over social media. He started trending worldwide. I mean, this entire situation was a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these comments, these tweets and what folks have to say about the Boonk Gang sex tape. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary.
So y'all just saw the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say. Boom Gang is an official clout-chasing-ass demon, okay? Only a damn demon would do some shit like that. No, you have millions of kids following you that you would put yourself out there. You know, my thing is, it's like there's nothing sacred anymore. And I'm just as shocked as the females in the video. You got the one girl in the background doing push-ups butt naked. He looks like him and his homeboy gonna get ready to run a train on her. You got the other girl, you know, she's sitting there just giving him head. She knows this is being filmed for Instagram. So I can't even just be mad at him. I also have to hold the females to task as well. It's like, what the hell are y'all thinking? You know what I'm saying? Their faces are clearly out in the open. You know, I'm sure their family members recognize them. Who knows if they have children or not. But it just goes to show you how crazy this world is getting. Everything is becoming more and more debaucherous. People straight up nowadays just like morals. You know what I'm saying? Everything is just so uncouth and just so over the top. And it's really sad because these are the people that the youth are following, okay? This man has five, well, before they deleted his shit, okay? Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! Best play with you, piggy! He had 5.1 million followers okay so let that shit sink in and all he does is stupid pranks you know he's been arrested numerous times and he has all of these people following him so it says a lot about society and where we're going as a society when this man doesn't think anything about this he doesn't think about his young followers he doesn't think about his impressionable fans and then he's having sex with these women raw there were no condoms being used you know there was two different women in the video the whole situation to me was just disgusting i was not here for that shit what's so damn ever okay Okay. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Boonk Gang, okay? Boonk and his attention horn and his clout chasing, having raw sex on camera with different girls for his millions and millions of young fans. How do you guys feel about his sex tape and his antics? And then also, how do you guys feel about Instagram taking over five hours to finally delete him, but then somebody like Rihanna can post a topless picture and her shit is deleted and removed with Within, you know 10-15 minutes um you also have a bunch of people who are out here talking about real shit you know conscious shit you know police brutality things like that their videos get removed and blocked but yet and still boom can have live sex on instagram live and his video stayed up for upwards of five hours before instagram finally got on top of it so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.